All right, guys, here we are at Five Miles of Hell. We just got a broken case on the trail, so we're gonna show you guys how to fix it. So, Spence, what'd you do, dude? Wheelied over, she tipped over to the right and punched a hole in the case. That's not good, tip oh, over the other shit. way. So let's see what we got. Brake pedal went right through the clutch cover. So, to get the brake pedal out of the way, let's spread those brake pads. So we push the piston in the caliper. That way we can push the brake pedal down really far, hold it out of the way with the screwdriver. And now we're gonna pull off this clutch cover just to make sure we don't have any piece of the clutch cover inside the engine. Hopefully we can fish it out. All right, we got the cover off. Now the tricky part, finding that little chunk we're missing. Yeah, we're definitely missing a, missing a chunk in there. So we don't want to stand the bike up because we'll lose more oil. We'll look for a minute, but probably it's just going to have to get chewed up in there. Let's get caught in his oil filter and screen. Okay. All right, step one. What are we doing, bro? Petey's going to break us out his first aid kit and give us some alcohol pads. See if we can dry up as much oil as we can before we stick the quick steel on it. So, yeah, you want it super clean. We might even want to scuff it up a little bit to give that epoxy something to hold on to. That looks really good. I think the epoxy's going to stick to that. Push the brake lever into the cage. Should we show them what we scuffed it up with? Yeah, what did we scuff it up with? We found a piece of a broken foot peg. <laughs> I got a file. It's been sacrificed for <laughs> us. Yep, a rock would have worked, but hey, when you got broken foot peg, why not? Typically, you're not packing alcohol pads. Well, you should if you're packing a first aid kit. So we're using the first aid kit alcohol to give this an extra cleaning, give our epoxy every chance to stick. All right, so we have Moose two-part epoxy. You should always pack this in your tool pack. So basically you have your both parts of your epoxy in this one tube. One part in the middle, one part on the outside. And you break off a piece, like so. There you go. And you mix it together. It starts kind of feeling warm, doesn't it? Yeah, it starts to get a little bit warm. But you don't want to mix it too long because it sets up fast. You just want it to be a consistent color once the black and the gray mix together. I'd say that looks consistent enough. Yeah, I think so. So I'm just gonna press it on the outside. It almost looks like, feels like bubble gum. And I'm gonna try and get some in the hole that the brake pedal made. Pack some on the other side. And then on the inside, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go too far inside because the clutch basket yeah. itself or the clutch is pretty close and we just don't want any more material in the oil and transmission than we can get away with. That looks pretty good. And you really don't need to goop it up and put a ton on there because yeah the stuff works really good. It sticks good. Steel. It's going to be about as hard as steel when that finishes. So we'll carrying. let that sit five minutes or so and See how it works. All right, while it's drying, we may as well just set it on. We'll leave the bike tipped over so the oil doesn't get to it. But we're just gonna put this on while we're waiting. All right, so we used the epoxy, broke off a piece off the end. Now the end's probably gonna dry out a little bit, get a little bit hard, but the rest of the tube that's still in the plastic is still good. So you can keep that in your pack for a while. It's just important to check it every once in a while, make sure they don't dry out. Otherwise, it's not going to do you any good, but this will still work for quite a few more rides. All right, we gave it a little more than five minutes. It's been like 15 or better. So we're going to go set it on some level ground, see how much oil we lost. All right, level that bike out. Oh, dude, you're like at the top of your bar. Yeah, you got plenty of oil. So there's the fix, plenty of oil. We can finish out this ride. So that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? All right, guys, that's how you do a trail side case repair. 
Um, it's important to always be packing that epoxy. If you're out in the middle of nowhere, it's going to get you back, and we're still going to be able to enjoy the day. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your comments below, and we'll see you soon. Wait, I got to get that on video. What happened? My uh, hydro pack was sitting on the counter overnight, and my daughter wanted to come today, so instead of her coming, I guess she gave me a crayon in my hydro pack. <laughs> Didn't notice until now. <laughs> That's awesome.